So the new hitch has arrived. So I'm hoping this is just going to be a straightforward swap over from the old hitch. So that's the new brake lever. Looks awesome. Oh yes, there's the hitch. Yeah, nice. It's a pretty nice unit. And there's the new mount for the car hitch. Looks pretty nice as well. So there it is, wow. It's much much better than the cheap Chinese knockoff that I'm going to replace. So I'm going to replace the old one with the split poly block with the new one and the new coupling as well. So it should be good. So the moment of truth when the old hitch is a different size. It looks like it's going to line up perfectly. Right, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is disconnect this handbrake. Right, so the next job is to undo these four nuts um, to take the old hitch off. They're really tight. Let's just loosen that one first. Then we'll loosen the second one. Oh, so tight. Right. That's it. Should just lift out now. That's it. Out with the old. Hopefully, in with the new. So that's a bit dirty in there, so I'm just going to give that a clean before. No, it's not well, it's not rusty, which is good. It's just got some dirt on it. So what I think I'll do is I'll dry it all off and then I might just add some grease underneath just to protect that surface. And the other thing we've got to do before we bolt it down is just to attach the, the brake lever. Just make sure that the holes line up because this, this one isn't um, an official treg so hopefully the holes line up perfectly, if not I'm going to be in trouble. So let's see, moment of truth now. Uh, we're in business. So this is what I'm going to put on. I'm going to be quite liberal with this, just to help protect that surface. So just cover it all in, in grease. That way it'll just help protect the metal. It's not rusted actually, which is good. It looks like there's some old grease in there before. So, so as I said, I'm not being shy with the grease, just whack it on. We should have gloves on really for doing that, but too late now. Right, so with that then, let's get this hitch on. Next thing we've got to do is attach the brake lever. So with that we can pull these screws out. Let's go around that way, and then that just simply bolts on the top. I think, or does it go underneath? No, it must go on the top. No, actually, it must go underneath. That must go underneath. Now we're going to be in trouble because that's not going to work. Right, so what I might need to do is use the old brake controller. I think that's not going to work. Yeah. I'm going to have to use the old brake lever on the top because this this one's not going to fit. There's just not enough room on the underside of the plate. The problem is this mechanism gets in the way. So what I'm going to have to do is take the old one off off of there. 
then that should work. Hopefully this... So let's just hope this old one fits. Yeah, so what we're going to have to do is just bolt that, the old one, on top, which is a bit of a shame, but... So the issue is... These holes are not in the... They need to be further back, because it you can't actually get it on because of the mechanism, unfortunately. So there's just not enough room with the bottom of this plate is too long. Um, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. Off with the new, on with the old. So we've got this nylock and then just the normal bolt, which we can just put those on. And then that's it. We pretty much just bolt it back on. That's it, it's on. Reconnect the brake. That's it, job done. So there it is folks, the new Treg hitch. And the handbrakes back on. So it looks good. So what we're going to do now is fit the old hitch up to the car, take this coupling off, the easier bolted to the car, and then fit the new coupling. So that's the old one off. Time for the new one. So obviously it doesn't go in that way, it'll go up the other way, it's just easier with the nut at the top really to do it that way up, to tighten it up. So to put it in, as I said, it just needs to be actually going that way. And there we go. And that's the new coupling and a new hitch. And now for the fun part, we're trying to connect the two. Got him. This is always a nightmare for me where I park the trailer because it's on a downhill. So you've got to get it absolutely spot on. I can't push it back because I've got chocks and things under the wheels. So it's pretty difficult, but on, on flat ground, it's relatively easy because you can move the trailer in and out to get it in. So it's, I always struggle here, but now it's all good. So next thing now is just to take it for the road test and just see how it performs. road test nothing feels very different at the moment which I don't suppose it will it's only a new hitch why it doesn't really feel any different um, one thing that was very noticeable though was actually loading the trailer on with the new hitch so the poly block on the previous hitch was very very sort of loose so when you reverse on you could very easily knock the coupling onto it and bend it down whereas this one it's got like a, a guide almost or some pins to sort of to, to stop the block moving so much which means that the loading is much much easier so that's definitely a bonus sort of the articulation points in general on the new one definitely feel a bit stiffer as well which is a good thing 
is probably a bit loose before but look they're very easy to fit they're only like as you saw only really four four bolts um, I had to modify that brake but that's not a big drama I've just used the, the the old lever from the old one but so far so good so pretty happy with it um, it's definitely much better made than the previous one so anyone that follows us or has seen the previous episode at Bush Sand and Sandbar you'll see that on that episode we actually split the old poly block which is why we've now fitted the new trick um, I've been toying with the idea of changing it I like to sort of upgrade things before they fail I was worried that it wasn't a real trig um, and so it's actually a blessing in disguise so that it didn't fail completely anyway that's pretty much it that's the end of the episode so hopefully you got something out of that I'm really pleased that we've got the new trig feel free to follow us on Instagram Twitter and Facebook and if you hit that subscribe button there that would be absolutely champion because that really helps us build the channel so thanks again for watching hopefully you got something out of that and we'll see you guys in the next episode take it easy ballers